Welcome to Wolves and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're back with Hogwarts Legacy! Um, it is really late at night, everyone is sleeping. Um, I don't know, can we go and- oh there's like feathers all over it and stuff, that's cool. I've never been here. There's a staircase over here. I could play the piano. I love it how I'm playing the piano. I'm not playing it, by the way. Um, but I love how I got the going. Oops. Why are you running into the wall? Like, girl. She's like running into the wall. Oh. There's a door up here. I don't know how to unlock it. Oh, right. So, I came here because we can do something here but it's that cross wand thing and I tried last video to do it and I could not do it for the life of me. Maybe we should try it now that I got uh, my skirt. Uh, now that I got the disarming wand thing maybe I can do it. Okay, we got fire, the pole thing, the knocking the wand out of the hand Feather. Let's try and see if we can get it done. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed wands ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? Mm, absolutely. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Uh, Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. Try again? Not right now. I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Okay, so we're here in town because there's a side mission here. So we're gonna go do that. Okay, so... Oh, we're at the pub. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself, I'm Clementine, Willetsy, charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Um... What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Well, you're not wrong, somebody was beheaded. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Well, we definitely know you weren't a Gryffindor. Don't forget. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Yep. Bye. Yeah, um, if she was a Gryffindor, they love to explore and stuff like that. And they have a lot of courage. So she definitely was not a Gryffindor. What are you up to now? Um, trying to find out where the butterflies go in the Forbidden Forest. Huh? There they are! She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willetsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Just keep 
keep on running. Trying to follow the butterflies, but stay out of danger. Oh? Oh, well, look what we have here. Okay, that was it. Okay, that was it. Oh, okay. please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. I do. I'm on my way, slowly. Hello, Miss Wallensee. Well, what happened? Did you find them? Yes, and I was well rewarded. Yes, nothing exciting, I'm afraid. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Alright, there you go. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Okay, I changed my girl's hair. So, it's a bit longer. So she doesn't look bald when she's wearing hats, because I do want to keep wearing the hat, but I hate that she kind of looks bald while doing that. I don't know. <sighs> Weird, I know, but yeah. And I also want to go to this guy's place. Find a piece of paper. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Yep. Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. And I have some stuff to sell up. But the thing is, I don't want to sell everything because there's some stuff that's locked and I want to unlock them to be able to wear them. I don't really know. I'm going to sell this though because I don't like it. Yeah, so this is what her hair looks like now. It's longer and it has bangs. Okay, so I got an unidentified back item. So I have something in my inventory that I don't even know what it is. Yeah, it has some outfits that were locked and now they're unlocked. I wonder if you have to get to like a certain level to unlock them maybe? So there's this. This goes down 14. That goes down 9. Um, let me take off this real quick. Ooh, this is kind of cute. Okay. Then there's this, this, and then this is the one I was wearing. Okay, we'll wear this. We'll put on our... This goes up 23, this goes up 34, this goes up 33. I kind of don't like this, though. Like, I like the school robe better than this. It'll go, it goes down one, which is fine. Yeah, so the only thing that I have locked at the moment is these gloves. Okay, I think I'm gonna sell everything else, but... Obviously the gloves that are locked. I'm gonna change up my wand, too. I wish that you could see what these things look on you before you buy, because sometimes you can't even tell what they are. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Thank you. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Alright, bye! Also, I collected the thing out front here, but it said that I never collected it, so... What? I swore I collected it. Founded in 1750 and with lo locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Gl oh, may I have it? Glar Glad Glad Garage offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Augustus Hill and his associate Oda Oto. Otto de, de Belli, happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular enjoying in particular the challenge of the customers with less fashion sense than most. Cool. Yeah, I want to wander around here for a bit because I have seen some chests and stuff like that. 
So I wanted to see if I could find any chests. Hi, kitty. Let's pet the kitty. <gasps> kitty, kitty, kitty. I love petting cats. Meow. Meow. Hold on, sorry, I gotta pet the cat. Yeah, there is a bridge somewhere so that there is a chest that's underneath it. And I want to find the bridge. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a Deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Oh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Ha! Huh. Finally! I'll have enough of that wind whisk. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Okay. I'm just listening to you into people's conversations. Aha! Okay, I found the chest. I need this. Go, <laughs> okay, got the chest. Okay, so I looked up how to unlock doors. Um, I still got a little while until that happens. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh wow, look at that. That's a gorgeous tree. <gasps> oh, we're gonna learn how to fly! Oh my gosh. Let's go! Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. I'm excited. We're gonna learn how to fly. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, Please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. okay. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Okay. <sighs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. This will take some getting used to. Yeah. Yay, I did it. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Hello! Nice day for a flight! 
Yeah. Oh. This is rather fun. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I messed up. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I missed it. <laughs> go down, go down, go down. Skirt. Down. This is so nice. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Okay. There you go. Smack my head, but it's fine. <laughs> Good, I've got this. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, well done! Have a moment? Just smacking my head on top of the thing, it's nothing. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Oh boy. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Um, I like the sound of that. Won't we get in trouble? I like the sound of that. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Oh, Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, boy. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yeah. Just fly around the whole place. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <gasps> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Uh, trying to follow him and not get ahead of myself. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. I think this is the better, uh, I like this tour better than wandering around. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Here. Okay, finally. And where have you two been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough! Class is finished for the day. <laughs> As for you, 
You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Hmm. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I have no regrets. I wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. <gasps> She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yeah, I was just thinking about going and buying a broom. I was gonna do it, I think, last video, but I'm like, well, I never... We haven't learned how to, you know, fly. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I want to go meet Sebastian. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay, we have to go meet Sebastian. We gotta go to Pep and Pep -po Potions. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Okay. Hello. Um... I want to buy something real quick. What can I do for you today? Oh, he has healing potions. A wise decision. Thank you. Okay. He has healing potions. I hope to see you again. And well for now. Talk. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You needed me with... A, you, need, you need help with the delivery? I can't read. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Happy to help. She sounds annoying. Happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Oh, there's something behind him. Okay. J. Pippin Potions, established in 1753, and uh, apothecary in Hogwarts Mead, where proper proper Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Nice. Okay. Incendio. I am so sorry. I'm leaving now. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hi, yes. I'm here for a broom. Hello. Mr. Just... Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yeah. Got a few rare U-weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. 
No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Um, you said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the u ones darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. He sounds very passionate about it. Like every shopkeeper that you talk to, they're very passionate about their work and I love that. Okay, let's see what he sounds has. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. Okay, let's see what we can What afford. are we looking for today? Ooh, we could sell. Oh. Did this just unlock? Nice. We have gloves. Okay, so we have a Hogwarts house broom, 600. Um, okay, so we can afford everything. Nice. <laughs> okay. I got ember dash broom. Um, the perfect broom for those with a fear... Fairy temperament. Um, Hogwarts house broom, a broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Ooh, I like that. Moon trimmer broom. Ooh, I like the moon. Uh, final craft from Ash. This broom is built for stability. Wind wisp broom, a stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. And then you weaver broom, a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. I think I'm gonna go with this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thank you. I'm all about Whilst my Raven nearly claws. any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Um. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. I feel like you're onto something too. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me United. 
And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Okay. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I will. Lipsticks, glasses. Yeah, these gloves unlocked. Nice. Okay. I'll leave the glasses on. Sure. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Same. Gloves. Ah. Rebellion. Run by the. Um. 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 Able weeks. This shop sells all manners of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Abel himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. I say that's true. Okay. Now that I got my broom, how do I? How does one get on a broom? Maybe you have to wait. Yeah, look at it. It's very far away. So I was hoping to use my broom. Okay. I was going to run all the way there and get like the things, but on the way back, I won't fly. But on the way there, I'll fly. And then on the way back, I'll run all the way through so I can get the um, flu powder places. But for right now, I'm just gonna fly. I'm like, I can't get off, help. I figured it out though. Happy. Oh. Yeah, uh, I was trying to get off and then I couldn't get off. And then I figured it out. So now I'm. I just want a little pass. Pippin should have been here by now. I'm here. Uh. Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. I love it how she's mad mouthing him, but then. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Okay, here, here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Uh, okay. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. I hate this lady. So, drink a invisible potion. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Can you tell me about your customers? No, nah, don't want to talk to <sighs> Very well. Anymore. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You I don't do want to talk that. To her no more. 
I don't like her. Ah, uh, thanks. I should be going. Don't even buy from her either. She does not deserve my money. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that lady. Like, what the hell? We got a new handle. Just because somebody was given a shop that was passed down from generation to generation to him doesn't mean what he's doing is any less of what you're doing. Ooh, nice. I like that. Gather some stuff. I know a melon trial when I see one. Not enough mellow sweets. How do I get- I forgot to look up how to get mellow sweets. Okay, so there is a new thing that we have to do here, but I can't do it just yet. What's this? The barkeeper is in Kinbridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy for, to feed off his customers' nausea and keep them- Imbibbing a bit longer. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a chest over there. There's a chest up there. But it's locked. Okay. I can't imagine how I'd have felt. Teleport to. Rebellion. Um. F. The locals call this the titled house due to. Tilted house due to the odd angle at which it sits, wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. Can I go in? Ah, I can. Got some money. I'm just going around eating things, drinking stuff. <laughs> like, what the heck? Oh. Okay, I'm just stealing people's stuff. Don't mind me. Oh wow, look at that. That's Hogwarts, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, that's Hogwarts. Like, what? That is so cool. Okay, so I found the flu powder, and it's in this house, or this cottage. Hmm. Hello, go out the door. Go to the other flu powder place I saw on the map. Some more Marlin trials. Okay, that's all, so now I can just teleport here. I just wanted to go get those flu powders. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. <sighs> I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? There's no problem. She certainly dif she's si she's certainly difficult. Oh uh, yeah. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Bye-bye. Well, that was fun. 
So this is all the stuff that I have in my inventory. Okay, we're on our way to meet our boy Sebastian. Over here. Yes, I'm coming. Let me stand up first. <laughs> Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Oh, is it that place? It is. I saw this. I saw that. I'm like, ooh. Oops. I gotta hold it. How did that. What did I do? Oop. There we go. Oh, is Rashi not coming? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. I will. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Hmm. That's ridiculous. It does sound dangerous. It does sound dangerous. But I'm gonna say it's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Okay, um... You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick sure. to the targets, though. Oh, sorry. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! 
I think I've got it. Okay. I made it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much, and I'm ready for more spells like this. Um, I think I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, mm -hmm. Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not ready to tell you everything. I'll tell you the truth. You must I promise to keep this between us. I trusted I, uh, you with trust knowledge him. of the secrets Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I will, I promise. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. An identified hat item. Hmm, healing potion. That was so nice of Sebastian to show me a new magic spell. Incendio! Take it. I'm dangerous. Okay, we're heading out. Thanks, Sebastian, for letting me know about this place, and I'll let you know about any information I come across ancient magic. Come on, I'm pressing F. Get going, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sitting there holding F, and nothing happened. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Should I say Sebastian told me? No, I'm not going to. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. 
Like the thing is, he should trust me because even when uh, I knew, uh, I was gonna tell him that Sebastian did it. But the thing is, I didn't want to snitch on Sebastian. So, kind of you can trust me because I won't. I wouldn't even snitch on Sebastian. <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. I love that so much. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. I technically did nothing. It just appeared in front of me. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, hold on. Sorry, let me just let's go on those chairs. Two. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Hmm. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay. Yes, Professor. Well. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Back. Lumos. Ooh. Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Huh. So I made this thing light as a feather, but now I can't get it to drop down, so and I gotta wait. So this, I, I can't climb up it, but I can slide down it. So, I don't know, well. Ooh. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder, Lumos. stop them! No, not, uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh. <laughs> F. What the heck? 
It's so weird, but so interesting. Bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. Check cheeky thing. Oh. So suddenly the bath um, formed in front of him and he's like, I don't need a bath. But maybe he did. Do you ever think of that? <gasps> wow. I like this room a lot. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Stop complaining. Nice. Jesus. What was that? What was what? Was that a golden snitch? <laughs> Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Lumos. Oops. Yes, it fell. I really wanted to know what this was, so I came back to see if the box had fallen, and it did. So we got a new um, robe. Okay. So we did that. Now we can slide down here. Whee! Okay, let's move on. Repair. Oh. I was hoping if I used repair on the armor that fell apart, I could repair it, but I can't. Oh, I really wanted to. I don't know if I was supposed to catch the golden snitch or just know that it's there. Candles are showing me the way. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Uh, 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 hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident. If ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Thanks. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. 
excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Yay! Okay. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of an unidentified gear that you've collected. Okay. I got, I think, two. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay. We're done. Um... So now we have identified those gear. I'm not a fan of the brown color. I look at first I thought it was white because it looks white, but it's tan. So we got a. I room. imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring. Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Nice. So, um, four. Ah, you gotta make this potion. Ooh. You can make all kinds of different kinds. We have other ones that are locked, but we have ones that are unlocked. I kind of like this one. So let's make this one. <gasps> Ooh, I do like it a lot. And please. Nice. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Okay, let's ask some questions. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Definitely. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. Mm, but the room of requirement has its own rules. That makes sense. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. 
I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Hmm. Okay. Um, we did have the option to make some other stuff, so maybe we should try it and make it known. Ah. I think I like this one. So... Can I put this over here? Yes. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I can do that, yeah. Ooh. Look at this. We can make a chair. Okay, so we got this chair. Uh, I didn't know what to make, so I just did that. <laughs> oh, look it! It's our owl! I think that's our owl. Anyways, um, I'll be back to do that. Oh, and we we have a flu powder in here. Nice. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Oop. Let me guess. A while. You're after something fresh. Yes, I need mellow sweets. Mellow sweets. Now, you he let me know if there's anything else I can help you he with. He has some, but I also need... Oh. My cat's about to freaking kill me. I also need to plant some mellow sweets. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Thank you. I'll take no one can say that. I don't keep a stack shelf. The reason why I want me because um, my cat is, was about to fall. Um, she was in the cat tree on the very top and she decided to go rolling over the side and she almost fell on her back. I know she, they could churn and land on their paw, their land, you know, on feet. There you go, their feet. But because of where the cat tree is there's like little to no room so i didn't know she would have enough time to turn to land on her feet so that's why i had to catch her because of where the tree is you're back finally minister spavin talks more than he listens ranted on and on about rogue dragons wouldn't listen to a word about goblins speaking of which listen, professor so much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. I'm holding my cat, because she's driving me crazy. But now that I'm holding her, she's angry. Like, which one do you want? Do you want me to pay attention to you? Do you want me to hold you? But then when I do, you get mad at me for holding you and loving on you. It's okay that she gets angry with me. Okay, anyways, let's continue, shall the we? The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. I hope this guy doesn't betray us in the end, because I will be so mad. Now put the book on the podium. The 
This looks promising. If only you were here to see this. Oh, well, he's talking about his wife? Was it his wife or... I don't know. Hi! Hello, or... Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my... Mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the
the tower conceals more than meets the eye. Okay, I'll see you there. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. No more. But maybe Sebastian. Hmm. Okay. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you have done that, come and see me. Okay. I have so much to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you you beautiful night wolves in the next video. Goodbye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?